How can I help you, ma'am? I'm sorry, we're lost. Sir, please exit the vehicle. Get out the car, put your hands on the hood. Put your hands on the hood. Ow. Face down. Don't be on me and stay still, mother. Don't move till I say move. You know, when I started off acting, it was in theater. And I would be, you know, festy from Shakespeare's uh, you know, Twelfth Night one, and then I'd be, you know, a max a axe murderer the next day. And that to me was the allure of acting, to go from one side of the spectrum to the other. The celebrity that follows film actors dictate certain roles accepted and unaccepted, and I just won't accept that. And we do this one gig, we set for life. There are some lines we shouldn't cross. My men are soldiers. Soldiers kill people, Captain. Cops help people. You guys real police? Is this a real stun gun? Ugh. You feel better about that badge on? It's a piece of plastic, yo. I just wanted a redemption. I just wanted to, like, people not accept what he did, but understand and forgive. Although I know there's a lot to forgive. Who knows what was happening, but you didn't see that happen in the movie. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult going in with uh, a character this dark. You just want to have some kind of redeeming quality, you know. But it's definitely a fun ride. So when you go along, you're going to ride along with Adele and Sancho and get ready for a good time. In this city, you're nothing unless you're part of something better than yourself. I joined a gang when I was 10 years old. I love being a gangster. I love my barrio. Maybe that's why I became a cop. I hadn't read a screenplay with such social relevance since Boys in the Hood. And with the screenplay, I was instructed to read the letter that he wrote to me, the two-page letter detailing his frustrations and anger with events surrounding the Rampart scandal and certain uh, incidences in the media uh, with police uh, uh, brutality and racial profiling, um, certain blurbs in the, in the newspapers uh, with police officials in a position to protect and serve, making military uh, statements about an us against them mentality and the gangbanger element being ridden from the community, uh, from the community with the, with the uh, you know a beachfront stance from you know the, the authority figures and it was like time to question this you know it's time for us as a people to say why are these police officers being suspended and reinstated and and repeating their offenses you know and. Even though my character was one of those guys, it's 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 you know it's a it's a cautionary tale. With that power came responsibility. You go out there today and knock heads with the enemy. Don't let morality make you stupid. We partners, man. We in this together. Got the soldier up, cuz. With responsibility came opportunity. Gotta make me some money today. Give me some rims and a Rolex. With opportunity came corruption. <laughs> Cuba and I, when you get us together, it just turns into something different. You know, the chemistry just like, woo, we just, you know, it's really cool. It's a lot of fun. You need that connection. The worst thing you can do is just to say your lines and not listen to the other actor and have that disconnect. And he, you know, when I heard that he was, I was working with him in this movie, I knew, you know, from his previous work that there has to be some connection with his co-stars, and there was on this movie. Cuba's a blast. He's a lot of fun to work with. He makes it really fun just to show up to work every day. It's like, I knew I was going to go to work and have a good time. Redemption does not come so easy. You got to stop believing the hype thinking that there's some gang war out here. Well, there ain't. We the only gang that's left. So why's up? I hate white people. <laughs>